It's really unfortunate. And what's really crazy is that there are way more men that use social media and this platform to seek attention. Because that's all it's really about. What's really unfortunate is the fact that more and more women are losing touch with reality because the last time I checked, it's women all over social media platforms seeking attention, looking for validation and confirmation. I mean, do we really need videos for proof? I don't think so. To these women, it doesn't matter where they are, whether if it's in church, whether if it's at the supermarket, at the club, in their kitchen, or even at the office, they always have to be the center of attention, looking for attention. But carry on, boo. Because that's all it's really about. You know, money is not the root of all evil. Attention is. And there's way more men that use this platform to seek attention, than, to me, in my opinion, than women do. You know? Hold on. Let me just get this right. Do you really mean to tell me that it's not your average modern Western woman who has a social media account who doesn't overvalue herself because she has simps in her comment section, because she has simps in her DMs, because she has men? I'm not, I shouldn't even say men because she has simps in her DMs who pay her money just to reply back to them. You mean to tell me it is men all over social media doing certain things to get paid? You mean to tell me that OnlyFans exists because those women want to contribute something positive and valuable to society? I mean, what the hell? Let's be honest. Some women take it even so far that they post pictures and videos of themselves on Instagram, TikTok. Some even are on YouTube as if they are OnlyFans models and they don't even get paid for it. They barely have likes. They barely have views. So what does that tell you about your average modern Western woman who shows herself that revealing all over social media? Women are hungry for attention. I mean, let's be honest. You already know that this channel is all about the truth and nothing but the truth. And if you are feeling some type of way as a woman about the things that I'm saying, maybe you need to sit down and do some soul searches, sweetheart. And just because a lot of men are getting sick and tired of attention-seeking leftover women, now it's supposed to be men who are looking for attention all over social media? I mean, ladies, we got to stop being hypocritical if we ever want any good, high-value man to take us seriously. I mean, honestly, when I heard her first sentence saying that men are using social media to seek attention, my jaw dropped. It took me several minutes to pick it back up off of the floor. I thought she was joking, but as I was continuing on watching the video, I knew very quickly that she was dead serious. I understand that Tiffany, which is her name by the way, wants to give young women a guideline, wants to help them, wants to give them advice on what they should look out for when it comes to men. But honey, we cannot as women, especially as women, we cannot sit here, try to give each other advice by putting down those men that we actually want to be with. But the proof is in the pudding. It is factual that it's women who need to do more self-correction than men. Men are not perfect, but men most likely are going to sit down and be more receptive to new information. You know, they'll try to use something as a clickbait or try to get you to hit, hit the like button or hit the follow button. It's all about the attention for them. It used to be back in the day, men used to be afraid of their woman. Now these men use social media to play in your face, to disrespect you. They do it for all types of weak reasons. And what makes her think that a man actually sees value on his videos being liked, hard kissy emojis or the hot fire emojis, unless it's not an online business, a man does not care about any of that. Let's be honest, everyone. It is women who put on tons of makeup. It is them who put on enhancing clothes so they can look a certain way from a certain angle. It is us women doing that. Let's not lie or kid ourselves. It is us women doing that, looking for attention because the majority of us have low self-esteem. But you cannot build your esteem or self-esteem up with likes and comments and everything that's coming from people that you don't even know. Imagine your account gets hacked. Imagine that platform is being banned. Imagine those people just decide to follow somebody else because now you hit the wall and nobody cares about you anymore. What, is you gonna self what are you going to do with your self-esteem then? Again... Men don't care about that. These guys are called roughnecks and they're working a very intense job on a drilling rig. Working on rigs like this take a ton of strength and is extremely exhausting. And sometimes you might even have to work 12 hours on a hot day. Would you ever work a job like this? Or would you pack a man's lunch who works a job like this? 
Probably not. I forgot. The majority of the modern Western woman nowadays doesn't even want this type of man. When really, in fact, these are those men who make the world go around. These men make sure we have electricity. These men will make sure that we have the, you know, the cell phones and everything that we use in order to sit in front of our phones and talk about that we don't need a man. Men, society doesn't need men. Who gives us the audacity? And I'm not saying these things to kiss a man's booty. I'm not doing that. Didn't even sound right. But anyway, you know what I mean. I'm not saying that. I'm saying appreciate the little things. Matter of fact, what these guys are doing is not little at all. When was the last time where you and I as women were sitting down or a matter of fact, high up in the sky under the sunlight working for 12 hours? We couldn't because our makeup would literally melt off of our faces. Back in the day, man, you was cheating on your girl. You was at the club with another chick and your woman walked in, your whole heart going to drop to your stomach. Everything stopped. You're going to push that woman up off of you and you're going to try to defuse the situation. These men don't care no more. They play right in your face and they use social media. And just in my opinion, I just feel like the energy towards the black woman has totally shifted. You know, you got your men out here that's going to play in your face. They disrespectful under your posts, under your comments, under your video, whatever. And I'm speaking for all women in these modern Western countries nowadays. If you don't respect yourself, you have no business expecting respect from someone else. And that is true. If you are walking around in all types of revealing clothes, if your social media feed is filled up with you just showing yourself from certain angles, if you trotting around like you're just the baddest thing on this planet, men will pick up that energy. A certain type of man will pick that energy up. So you can't even expect to be treated like a classy lady when you are walking around looking like a hoochie mama. That is not going to work. And the results of these women's relationship will show you that that concept does not work. You said men were scared of their wives? Back in the days, women used to be scared of their own behavior. They used to be scared when society would talk about them in a certain way. They used to be scared of the fact that they did something that was shameful to people in their environment. They used to be scared of the fact that somebody would call them a prostitute. Nowadays, women celebrate it. Women celebrate it. They're giving each other advice, telling each other, oh, you have to date multiple men at the same time, girl. Show them your value, girl. What value if you are ran through at the age of 35 to 40 looking for a high value man? Where did your value go? And no, honey, your value is not the car you're driving. It is not the purse you're carrying. It is not the clothes that you are wearing. It's none of that. Your sexual marketplace value to men defines a woman's value. But carry on. And then you also have these kids, these savages out here. It used to be a time when you see your mama walking up. You know you done been on some BS and you see your mama walking up. Man, you pee in your pants. These kids don't care. It's like, I don't know what happened and what, what caused the, the disconnect. I'll tell you what happened to these savages. Their mama didn't care. A lot of these young men, they don't have an authoritative figure in their lives who tells them right from wrong, who tells them what to look out for in a good woman or in a trash woman. That's what happened. Mommy cared about her own happiness and put her own happiness over her child's proper upbringing in a two-parent household. That's what happened. Or mommy continually made wrong mistakes dealing with the wrong type of man who made children with that woman but never was man enough to actually take and look after those children. Who has to suffer? The child. That's what happened to these savages nowadays. But a real man who was raised to be the man of the household who would actually have expectations and requirements onto the woman he is with, he would never allow his son to disrespect a woman because then that son and that household will learn what it takes to be a good man that can actually contribute to something in society and actually become a man in somebody else's household one day. But a lot of women nowadays, they don't want that good man because like I said, those good men will come with requirements, with expectations, and a lot of women don't want to meet those because it's either their way or the highway. And it's not even only that. It's also that a lot of women don't want to follow a man's lead. But I'm quite sure some low level, low vibrational, weak ass man going to get on here and say, well, women did this and women did that. Yeah, I, you know, everything is blamed on the black woman. Like we just, just created 
all types of uh, inadequacies in y'all. No, you grown ass individual. A lot of these men just want attention and they'll do any and everything to get it. And that right there, that constant victim mindset is a huge problem with a lot of modern Western women. As you already know, you can't hold a woman accountable for her messed up actions nowadays. It is hard for a woman to say, you know what? You're right. I should have done better. You know what? I need to rethink my mindset and my behavior so I can be better for myself, for my environment, for my community, for the partner that I want to be with one day. A lot of women don't want to do that. They don't want to do what's right for them. They want to do what's easy for them. But sometimes what comes easy is not the right thing for you to do. Simple. So it may be hard for you not to drink, hard for you not to go out, hard for you not to go on that hot summer vacation with your girl. There are a lot of good men out there, but it seems like a lot of women don't want those good men because those good men are not pooky enough. They're not chad enough. How many women are all over social media talking about, I rather want to have an F boy than being with a man that actually wants me. The moment a man develops emotions and feelings towards me, I cut the man off. How is that going to make anything right for you as the woman in a relationship? It is not right for a woman to have multiple partners at the same time. A woman is not designed for that. So Tiffany, if you ever come across this video, I absolutely disagree with your statement and I think the proof is all over social media that in fact it is women who are looking for confirmation, seeking attention and need validation from men because of their looks. Not because they're doing something that actually helps men, not because of doing something that actually helps society. No, it's because they have to build their ego because they don't have the inner strength to do that for themselves. So with that being said, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Welcome on board to everybody who has been supporting me. Thank you so much for your loyalty. I highly appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comment section and do not forget to give this video a like. Make sure you share it with your friends and family and of course, stay safe in these streets. And guys, we almost made it to 20K. Stay tuned for also future videos where I'm going to be talking about the best cities for American men to come to. Until then, stay tuned.